This time last year, we put out a video giving you our top 10 Neo Pros to watch out for in 2014. How do they do? Well, let's find out. Sky's loss was Orica Green Edge's gain this year as the Yates Twins had one of the most impressive Neo Pro years that we've ever seen. Simon started off strongest, riding consistently throughout the spring. He came 12th overall at the really hard tour of the Basque Country before he crashed out of the Tour of Turkey, breaking his collarbone. Meanwhile, his brother Adam went on to win that race overall, and it sparked an incredible run of consistency for him. Fifth overall at the Tour of Cali, sixth at the Criterium de Dauphiné, and he was even in with a chance of winning the San Sebastian Classic, but crashed out whilst chasing eventual winner Alejandro Valverde. Simon debuted at the Tour de France in July, which is all you need to know of the high regard that the Australian team has for these British riders. Meanwhile, it's been a year of learning and working for Rick Zabel, son of the great Eric. He rode in support of Taylor Finney at the start of the year who won the Tour of Dubai. His best personal results were three fifth places on stage of the Tours of Britain and Utah. It's also been a long season for the 20-year-old, starting at the Tour Down Under in January and going right through to Beijing in October. Junior World Champion in 2012, under 23 World Champion in 2013. Matej Mohoric rode this year for the Cannondale team and will be one of the riders who comes across to the Slipstream squad on the merger, or marriage as JV likes to call it. There's been a weight of expectation after his results as a junior and under 23, but like Zabel, his best personal placing was a fifth place, again on a stage in Utah. 2013 Under-23 World Time Trial Champion Damien Housen kicked off his season with a bronze medal at the Australian National Time Trial Champs in January. The rest of the year was reasonably quiet for the 22-year-old from a results point of view, but he played a key supporting role in many races for Orica and finished the season off as part of their silver medal winning team time trial formation at the World Championships. Gold medalist in the Omnium at the 2012 London Olympics, Lassa Norman Hansen's pro road career got off to a cracking start in Dubai this year, where he took third in the opening time trial ahead of both Tony Martin and Fabian Cancellara, keeping that position through the road stages to hold on to third overall. It was a show of great promise for the young Dane, and although that was as good as it got from a purely results point of view, it's been a strong season to start his pro career. Davide Villea is one of Italy's hottest young prospects, but it wasn't all plain sailing in 2014. He won the KOM competition at the Tour of the Basque Country and that boded well for a good outing in his first Grand Tour, the Giro d'Italia, but he crashed out on stage six with a broken collarbone. His best personal result came in August at the Arctic Tour of Norway, second on the first stage and fourth overall and best young rider. He finished the season well, particularly in the one day races with 16th at Il Lombardia, boding particularly well for the future. What an exciting rider Dylan Van Baal is. Like teammate Hansen, he got off to a great start in Dubai, but he really showed his pedigree in September, winning the overall at the Tour of Britain. Yes, he got into a breakaway which took some time, but he also rode incredibly well in the final time trial to keep the likes of Michal Kwiatkowski at bay. It's hard to know where Van Baal's future lies, but we wouldn't be surprised to see him win a big one-day race sooner rather than later. Nathan Brown secured a contract with Garmin Sharp this year after some impressive performances in 2013, including the US Under-23 time trial champs and an overall win in the Tour de Beauce. All in all, it was a fairly quiet debut for the 23-year-old, but he did make his Grand Tour debut at the Vuelta, where his team enjoyed success in both stages and the overall GC. Junior world champ in 2011, Pierre-Henri Lecuisinier made the step up in 2014 to FDJ. However, he has yet to live up to the expectations that winning the rainbow jersey at such a young age can give you. Like Technically, Australian sensation Caleb Ewan is not a Neo Pro until next year, but he did do a stint with Orica Greenedge at the end of this season and was mightily impressive. Pigeonholed as a sprinter by some, he immediately proved that there are more strings to his bow of a really strong performance at the Ride London Classic. Ewan was left frustrated at his first World Tour race, the Tour of Beijing, where he'd been looking for a stage win, but we don't reckon we'll be far through the 2015 season before he raises his arms aloft. Well, that's how they did, but who did we miss out on our list? Well, embarrassingly for me, we missed out on one of my favourite riders now, 
Michael Vulgren. What an amazing season he had. Not only did he help Alberto Contador to his win at the Vuelta a España, but he also had some great personal results along the way. He won his national championships and his home tour, the Tour of Denmark. He's definitely a rider to watch in the One Day Classics in the future. Jasper Stoyven made his Grand Tour debut for Trek Factory Racing at the Vuelta and took four top four places on the flatter stages. Sylvain Dillier was incredibly consistent throughout the year and he finished it off with a great performance for BMC where they won the World Team Time Trial Championships in September. Finally, Davide Formolo didn't make our list, but arguably he performed better throughout the year than his trade teammate at Davide Vilea, who we did have on our list. He was really consistent and came very, very close to a victory on a number of occasions. Possibly the most impressive performance was his silver medal at the Italian National Championships behind Vincenzo Nibali. Nibali was incredibly strong that day, and it was the first indication that we had that size prediction for the Tour de France was about to go horribly wrong. Vincenzo Nibali is not going to make the podium. Thanks very much for joining us. Stay tuned because soon we're going to be giving you our top 10 Neo Pros to watch out for in 2015.